Right, that's me back out. Um, been planning this one for a while. It's a two nighter all weekend, and I'm going to be exploring the Causeway Coast. We'll be starting from just outside Port Rush at the White Rocks, and I'll hopefully get into the Carricka Reed Bridge. I'm not too sure if it's open. Hopefully, fingers crossed it is, and then uh, I can finish my, my journey there. But yeah, there's going to be castles, caves, and um, beaches. So I don't know if it's going to be a two part yeah. video or I can get it all in one, one, but yeah, like as always, looking forward to this one. Right, so first on my list is a castle we're going to be exploring. I don't know if it's done loose, I think it might be the name of it. So we're going to check that out. It's starting to spit a little bit, but sure, that's what happens every time I'm out. And then after that, we're going to be going to the Giant's Causeway. It's got some crazy rock formations. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing that again. Hopefully I can get the drone out there, just get a good look around. But definitely a good place to come and visit if you're around this area. Most of these places are on the Game of Thrones. Probably all of it, to tell you the truth, but yeah, let's crack on. So we're on a bit of a road stretch here, not too much, just a couple of miles I think, before we get to the castle and then we'll start onto the causeway. See if the pub's open, maybe grab a cheeky drink or an orange juice or something like that. But yeah, plan on going to be on this road, on this route, sorry, for a couple of days, finish maybe Sunday morning. Uh, two different camping spots, we'll have that, an idea where we're going to be camping. So, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, it's been on my list. It was this one, Rams Island and the Morn Wall. But my fitness isn't there yet for the Morn Wall, so I might give it another year. But I'm happy with this. Been dying to do something with a few miles for a long time. Oh, and I've got a new quilt, I'll show you this later on. Alright, so we're Lely at the castle here, a couple of minutes away. It's a nice little walk. Most of it was road, but you still got the views. So tonight, uh, we'll have someone uh, joining with from the camp. And uh, the night after, we've got someone else joining with as well. I'm just doing this hike with David Doyle. He's a YouTuber too. I'll put his uh, his, his channel on my uh, descriptions. I'm stuttering a lot on this one. I haven't woke up yet. <laughs> need a coffee. I need a coffee, so. But yeah, you should check out his videos. A lot of it's the causeway as well with the drone. So if you're thinking about looking or coming around this area, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. So yeah, let's go and have a look at this castle. Right, so I've just came into Dunluce Castle. Uh, if you're coming to thinking about visiting this, it's 5.50 a person, or 5.30. 525. 5.25 is it? Look, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cracking little uh, castle. As you can see, we'll go down there in a bit. But you can come over the bridge. You used to be able to go right underneath because it's on top of a, like a type of cave. Uh, what was really cool, um, it's a little story about the kitchen here. It collapsed. Uh, and all the maids, I think it's maids and servants and stuff like that, crashed and fell into the water. Uh, but I'll try and get the drone out further on up there. 
so you can have a good look at it but yeah love stuff like this just exploring old buildings and and this is going to be a uh, perfect for this little adventure Right, that's us back on the trail. You're not allowed to use a drone around anywhere at the National Trust. So I'm gonna try and maybe just go up a little bit here and get it from the road. If not, look, it's all right, we still had a good look around. So next stop I think would be the Giants Causeway or a pub called The Nuke. You probably kind of see how here with this tractor. <laughs> but eh, uh, yeah, maybe stop at the pub, get a coffee, have some of these. Yeah, we're just walking through Port Ballantrae. Uh, nice little town, where well, village. Houses are massive. Really nice. So I think a lot of retired people and stuff like that would live here. So the plan is, there's a shop down the road here where it starts the, the proper trail. Maybe just grab a sandwich for later on. Um, a couple of snacks. Didn't bring too much food with us. Hoping on the behalf of uh, shops and cafes and stuff like that. So that was my plan. Bag's about it's about nine, just over nine kilos, and that's with a drone, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once we get this shot. Yeah, so if you're ever doing this walk, it's handy to know that there's just a shop just before the start of this trail coming up towards the Nook and the Giants Causeway. It might be the last shop for a while until the pub at the Giants Causeway, but it's handy. You can get a sandwich, your drinks, or whatever you need, and just carry on. You've also got toilets. Um, I don't know if there's any shower facilities or anything there, but definitely the handy to have. Nice little sitting areas around over here so where we'll be going we we'll maybe just walk a little bit up the beach there's a train track here I would like to see it's got like an old train on it, it runs up and down sometimes and then we're going to be heading towards I don't know if you can see there's like an old house there on the corner some sort of a manor and then round and that'll be the start of our, our trail so yeah we're doing good for my doing about five six miles something like that so yeah we're doing good for time Pretty windy, but 
hopefully, I don't know what it looks like yet, but maybe you can see a bit further down the, the coastline where we're going to be walking. But ah, it's a really nice day, nice little bit of breeze. Um, how's the train track look? <sighs> so, this must just run, run right up the side of this coast. Looks pretty cool, hopefully we'll see something go past. Tempted to jump on there to the causeway, <laughs> but uh, it's cheating. Anyway, we're gonna crack on. Right, so we're not far from the Giants Causeway Centre. If the pub's open, stop and get a drink, a cup of coffee or something like that. The plan is uh, to walk the cliffs above the Giant Causeway uh, to get the best views. And then hopefully I can get the drone out and give you a good proper look at it. But yeah, people all over the world come to visit this place. It's a really good little spot. One of them things you, where you'll not see anywhere else, you know. Right, so we're at the visitor centre at the Giants Causeway and I'm actually I'm standing on the roof of it. Yeah. Well, these must be skylights. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I'll have a look, see if I can get a uh, have a look down. Uh, it's the first time I've actually spoken on the camera in the pub. So we're in the nuke. And we're just about to start the Giants Causeway with the paint, whether they take the low road, have a look at the uh, rock formations. I think I've had too much cider. And then climb up the, there's a, some stairs on the way up. It's pretty steep. Or we might just walk across the cliffs. We'll see what happens. But um, I win the nook. Very good little pub. Just topped up with water, had the toilets and a little cider. So we're in the go again for the second half. Right, so we just stopped for a pint at the Nook. Uh, really nice spot, really friendly. So, well deserved cider. Top the right up, ready for the next bit. Now we're going to go down and tackle the Giants Causeway. So yeah, we'll get back there. Still got plenty of time, still dry, so still good. Right, so this actual walk, I would say from the centre to the rock formations is around a mile. Last time I did this, it was about 10 years ago in this path no, nothing like this it was quite rough and hard to walk on but now it looks looks really easy i am really impressed with what they've done with it uh, i could probably bring the child down here on the wheelchair no problem you know that nice right so these are these mad rock formations uh, something to do with the volcanic when it came from the ground the way it cooled, it's shaped like this, into these mad shapes. But ah, you'll not see this anywhere else. Absolutely nuts. I was here about 10 years ago. Um, obviously with more hair. <laughs>
made it. So, David trying to give us a heads up with the steps. I was like, yeah, it's be all right. Oh. Uh, first and last. <laughs> us plowing on getting a good few miles in here some excellent views the weather's actually uh, been in our favor a couple of light drizzles now and then but been perfect it's starting to get really warm now to tell you the truth but yeah coming around the cliffs here heading towards port, port moon where we're going to be meeting up with stevie who's going to be joining with tonight for a camp uh, another youtuber i can put his link in in the description as well but the views are unreal there's two different routes you could go there's a one as you're coming around the bottom yeah but you've been advised to like wear hats and you've got to be sort of half decent with your claiming experience i uh, wouldn't recommend it or there's a route way done where you get a good view of like uh, the north coast <sighs> sun's come out again <laughs> uh, but look at these views absolutely class Brilliant. Sea Rafflin Islands now uh, and White Park Bay. We'll be going past that tomorrow at some stage over at the Larry Bain and then over to the Carrick Reed rope bridge. But yeah, just want to keep taking pictures all the way around, stopping, taking a photo, stopping, taking a photo. <laughs> so maybe it's another, what do you reckon, three miles maybe three. today. So it's good going. Oh yeah, I'll get back to you. Hey, right, that's maybe destination. I'm gonna set the tent up. I'll show you what I'm using tonight. Uh, be lightweight, the quilt, stuff like that, and then get some food on, have a beer. Hopefully, get a bit of a sunset. All right. Brilliant day, perfect. I think we just timed it just right with the, the mileage and stuff like that. Um, and then tomorrow, we head in that direction. Right, that's me set up. I'm starving now, like, but I'll show you me, uh, me set up for tonight. Got to crack a little spot. The wind's picked up a little bit. Looks like it's going to rain a little bit, so just in time for us wanting to get the drone out, you know. Still plenty of time, like, hopefully it'll change, but yeah, we'll have a look. Yeah, this is my setup. This is my view for the night. So we've got David over there and just Stevie in the distance. So yeah, I think it'll be nice in the morning with a cup of coffee, just sitting chilling out looking at that over there. So, yeah, we'll go in, just show you a quick look. I'm starving so we'll make it quick. And this is the new quilt I'm going to be using, it's the Ice Flame quilt. Uh, really light, I think it was about 500 grams and it packs down to nothing so tonight will be the first test with it. Also with the summer mat it's just one of the oex uh, no our value to it but it's going to be warm tonight and just to make sure i've got the foil underneath and the trekology pillow is normal so yeah um a couple of beers have to have a couple of beers and then i'm going to cook some food just a dehydrated one uh, some space there for my clothes but yeah really loving this tent at the minute oh, it's Packs down to nothing. It's 1.3 or just just under. 
Yes, plenty of space there. So, and then this is my view. Well, that's me, fed and watered, just on my last beer. Nothing much, just seeing if we get a bit of a sunset. Uh, not been videoing much more after this. Uh, it's been a long day, good day, but long. And it's a big day tomorrow, too. So, I'm just gonna have an early one. Um, try and get the drone out if we get a bit of a sunrise here, sunset, sorry, half asleep. I might make this into two videos. Depends how much footage I got. See if I need it, or I can compress it into just one video. I don't like making them too long. So, yeah. yeah.